Hello guys, uh, in this video, I would like to explain that how we can download CMF6 data. Maybe you know that uh, for what stands CMF6, this means that coupled, coupled model enter comparison project phase 6. So this is the latest data uh, released by the World Climate Research uh, Program. And this is uh, this has uh, uh, some SSPs, shared social economic pathways like uh, SSP uh, 2, uh, 4.5, SSP 8, 5.8, something like this. And so you can, you can use different SSPs according to your climate conditions. Like if you have warm climates, you can use the MET, uh, medium range uh, emission scenario and high range emission scenario. This depends on your uh, objective as well. This is, uh, you can use all these scenarios, but you need to justify this then when you are writing your search paper or thesis or whatever. So this is about the climate data and I will do a separate video on you know, what is the reference data and what is the future data about this scenario so you can then have full understanding. But today we have just to download CMF6 data which is climate data, climate projection by using global climate model uh, by the World Climate Research Program. And this data is available from, uh, yeah, this is data is available from very long period, but we will be used normally from 1985 to the end of 21st century. And from 1985 to 2014, this is considered the evaluation period. And this duration, we evaluate the performance of the model, and then we have projections until the end of 21st century. So this depends on the object of your study there. Uh, whether you need the future projections or not. So uh, after evaluating the models, you can choose better models and you can then calculate in summer projection or you can consider a single model output as your projection in the future and you can do analysis, uh, which is usually called post-processing as well in the climate uh, science. Uh, okay, so you, you can see that evaluation period ends somewhere here. And then, uh, yes, then the projections you can see in this crop. So uh, I will have a separate video again, I will say. So let's move that how you can download CMF6 data. Uh, uh, you can search around the world anywhere and you, you need to enter it and reasonable, with reasonable speed. So let's move that how you can download CMF6 data. So you need to start uh, CMF6 data. You can just send in search. Just write the, in the Google CMF6 data, and then you can see this is CMF6 like this. And you can see this one, Earth System Grid Federation, ESGF, Earth System Grid Federation. I'm using this uh, link, and there may be other node as well, so you can use other node as well to download this data. I'm using this one. And however, you can use other as well. It's not uh, necessary to use this one. Uh, so this is some description of the uh, program, like this is our system geared federation and World Climate Research Program, uh, CMF6 and uh, WR, WCRP so from here, Copper Model Inter Intercomparison Project Phase 6, which is the latest data, climate data released by the World Climate Research Program. So you can read these things and you also have a guide, a user guide to read about this and then down, download the data. However, the data is available and this mentioned that data sets from CMS, CMF6 simulations are available through this link. So let's click on this and see how we can proceed to. Okay, so this is the, you can see, this is the, uh, the, the now the, you can see, this is the, you know, the, the interface or you can say, uh, let's see again, what was that? So, okay, so through this one, simulation are by this interface, CMF6 search interface. So you can see this is the interface and you can then, uh, you can select different parameters and then you need to specify which simulations from which model and for which SSPs and at which frequency you need this data. So you look at this, initially you can click on here, so I need same F6 in this one. You can use this one, but I don't need this one. So you can do this, select this and then search. And the other way is you can do select 
all the option and then search but i will prepare this one because this will give you if whether the data is available for that or not so you will see the result so just click search and you will see uh, cmf6 you will see here uh, yeah this is cmf6 so search result cmf6 and this there is a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, results uh, you can see 10 only here and you can see, you can see just look at the pages a lot of pages and the total number of results are here that is uh, a lot 5 at 1 5 at 4 5 58 lakh 15,845 so a lot of results so you can see cmf6 here you can cross this and then you will go back to the initial step and you can choose the other one if you don't want to collect uh, to search cmf6 but i don't want to cross it because then i need to go back here now you can just uh, see here if there is something you need to choose uh, i think i don't need to choose here something so you can click and negative then it will go bike the product uh, model output here yeah, of course i need model output but i don't you can choose this in as well and source id so this is something like uh these are some of the models yes these are the models and you can choose the models whatever you want i will choose this one which is mostly used and which one of the best models so i can choose cmap uh kneesm5 which is the latest version of the canadian earth system model uh kneesm5 and these results are available for this model so again you can click i uh, remember that you are you are you are now uh, in source ID, just click on search and you will see you will see cmf6 and then you will see this model here uh, behind this just click on search um uh, this yeah so can uh, cmf6 can esm5 so this is the next which you have chosen and these are the result for all the result are for cmf6 and you can see so we were here at source ID. Now you can choose maybe the other thing is will uh, no i don't want to choose this one and source type aogcm yes we need aogcm but yes uh, you can choose this in result but i don't care about this uh nominal resolution you can choose the resolution but these are the resolution which is available for this model so if you want to choose the resolution you can choose the resolution as well this is 10 kilometer which have four results for 100 kilometer, you have this result 20 lakh 18 one uh, two uh, two lakh uh, 1849 and for five kilometer resolution these are the results so you can choose the results the resolution as well i don't choosing this now and now you need to choose uh if you want to choose experiment id you can choose experiment id as well normally i don't choose uh from here as well but you can choose if you want if you are interested yes but if you you can choose the scenarios so scenarios here so you can choose scenarios i mean their pathways ssp 4.5 ssp 8.5 and even you need to choose the historical as well and you have by the way you have rcp data which is from cma 5 the previous report but i i will not recommend this because uh the latest data is available so you don't need to use the previous data so now and uh, this is uh start from here ssp and you can see uh, all these ssps are available until uh, yeah ssp 5.8.5 and ssp 8.5 bgc so you have a lot of experiment i will choose uh let me choose uh historical as well because i need historical data as well for uh, evaluation uh okay we can choose historical and we can choose stupid yes we can of course choose historical as well for evaluation but we can choose ssps as well because if you want if you are interested in the future prediction you need to choose uh ssps data and uh, uh also if you are interested in evaluation which is important step for prediction so we need to choose the historical as well and let me choose this one ssp for uh 24.5 this one so this is ssp 24.5 this is one of the scenario but a pathways you can choose ssp 8.5 this one as well but i'm not uh, because i'm just 
telling you that how we can download so you can choose this as this one as well then you will have a result both for ssp2 power 4.5 and uh, uh, 5 8.5 for both uh, SS, SSPs. And if you select historical beside these two scenarios, you will have three results here. After CMF5, you will have historical CMF, uh, SSP2 4.5, SSP5 8.5. So you can choose simultaneously different options. That's There is no restriction. Just click on this and you will see SSP2 4.5 behind C can ASM5. And by the way, remember that you are an experiment ID. Okay, now SSP2 4.5, and if you select other scenarios, SSPs, then you will see those as well behind this. So this is the only one you can choose other as well. Sub experiment, so I'm not interested in this one, so no, and variant label, uh, you can choose, these are different variant, you can choose from this as well, but I'm not interested in this. You can choose and you can see what we mean by this. Grid label, I'm not interested in this. Table ID, uh, let's see what are these. Uh, I think, no, I'm not interested in this as well. Uh, frequency is a more important thing. That's, I, you can choose three hourly data and you can choose three hourly data, this data and six hourly data and day. So I'm interested in daily data. So I just want to select daily data. So you can just click here and search and you will see daily here. After SSP2 4.5, you will see your daily. So this is your search. Can uh, CMF6, can ESM5, SSP2 4.5, and day, it's mean daily data. Now you need to choose the variables. Uh, I'm not interested in the real, and see what is this. So no, I'm not interested in this one. Variables. Uh, my interest is precipitation, PR, this is precipitation. And also I'm interested in T max and T minimum. That's mean maximum temperature and minimum temperature. So T max, maximum temperature, T A S min, surface air temperature, minimum and surface air temperature, maximum and PR precipitation. So I'm interested in these three variables. And if you are interested in other variable, you can of course choose other as well. So we have chosen three variable, and you will see you will see three variable after a day now in this search. And that will be your hopefully your final search. Then you can choose file and you can download. So you can see now, uh, as I already told you that if you select three variables, three you know options, you will have three options. Like here, you can also have three options: historical SSP two four point five, SSP five eight point five. So here is precipitation T is max T A S min. So you have chosen almost all the parameter which is required. Now uh, I don't, I'm not interested in this one. You can, you can write here. You can choose maybe, but I'm not interested. So these are the, the results now. 150 results you have for SSP 24.5, daily data and precipitation, TS max, TIS minimum. For this model that can ESM5, this is general circulation model, global climate model, GCM, and this experiment, which is CMF6. So now you have to, you have all selected all these uh, options. And by the way, you can reset all these, just click on reset and then you will need to choose again these options. Or you can cross, like you cross this one, then there will be no precipitation, TS, max TS, man. you will have search until day and then you can choose the variable again of your interest. So you can, you can cross any option and then you can choose again that option. So that's the flexibility of this interface so now you have these uh, files just click on list files list files on this white we will see a list of these files Okay, there is some problem, so I cannot see that. Okay, let's see. Try again. So 
red. You can see if you can see some razors, then you can. Okay, so. Okay, so let's see, let's uh, cross this and choose only one. You can choose three file, I mean, three options as well, but let's do this. And then you will see your search will be until day. And then you need to choose the variable again. So you can see now it is here. So you can cross any one of them and then you can choose again. So let me choose variables and I'm interested in precipitation. So this is the precipitation and you can search again. You will have only one. And then you will also have limited files because you have dropped two options. So this is precipitation only and you have 50 files, 50 results. And you can see this is the name of the file, CMF6 scenarios, MIP, CC image. So this is the local, I mean, the regional climate model. This is the global climate model. This is the scenarios, uh, SSP, the pathway, and this is the experiment number and daily data is day and then this is four and okay so now again let's uh, click if you can see some improvement then we can download the file and that's not difficult then to download you will see options and you can download then the file yes now you can see this is the information which i wanted so this is the file name and these are some of the other information. I'm not interested in this information, but I'm interested in this HTTP download or open DAP download. So you can use any one of them. I'm using normally HTTP download. So click on this and you will have a file. The download will start and then you can check in the download. So the file data is in a new CDF common network data format, which is a scientific format for each data storage. So you have more data you can store in this NetCD format, which is a specific format for scientific huge data. So just click on this and let's see how. Uh, and now, okay, there is some problem with the download. Uh, I I saw this uh, in the recent days that the, the file is not downloading. I don't know the reason actually, but this the procedure is until here. You can click on this and you will start downloading the data. I have downloaded uh, 10 GCM data and this is the, the same procedure I'm using. You can click on this and you will see the file is downloading and then you can see the download and then you can handle this NetCDF file, uh, how to extract the data. So this is the procedure which uh, clearly explain in detail that how we can download CMF6 data. So by the way, this is only for this model. You can choose different model as well, and you can choose the SSPs, different SSPs as well, and you can choose different frequency as well, like three hourly, et cetera. And you can choose, of course, different variable as well. Uh, so I think this is simply explained, and you can follow this, and I hope you will have no problem, but I have problem this since few days. So the download, I cannot download this, but the procedure is simple. I have already downloaded two years, three years back, 10 GCM data by using this procedure. Uh, uh, so I hope that this video helped you in downloading CMF6 data and we will have further videos that how to deal with the CMF6 data and how to uh, analyze and how to make uh, predictions, meaningful prediction and analysis of using CMF6 data. So this is enough for today and uh, see you in the next video. Ciao.